It's hard as hell for a young Florida boy where well, we play football and sell dope, man. Go rims and sticks. Yes, we're going to get right into it. Um, you know, Pearly Gates 3, the event kicked off. Great event. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just talk about it. I know what y'all been waiting for. Mad Papa, Hollow the Don. As you guys know, I interviewed both these guys before the battle started. If you miss it, check it out on my page. But we're just going to jump right into it. In this battle, um, just looking at the press conference, looking at the face-off, I knew that this battle was going to be definitely personal. My thought process going into this was, was it going to supersede Averb versus um, Hitman? And Rex versus and Rex versus Shine. That's the only thing I was really thinking about going into this battle. Like, where is this going to rank? Um, but yeah, it was definitely a good battle. Uh, we are gonna get right into a hollow. The Don goes first, and when he when he goes, he he starts off by um, acknowledging and apologizing to Math. Um, really about him not, I guess, living up to being such a gangster. So he apologized to Math in that. And Hollow, he came out and he was definitely swinging um, at the gate. Um, one thing, if you if you know and you've been following Hollow, you know he definitely um, has different type of schemes and he likes to rebuttal and um, you know he he chokes a lot too. Um, so in this first round, um, and then he also predicted um, kind of like what Math was going to say, the angle that Math was going to um, come at him with as well. Um, so that was that was definitely interesting. And uh, Math, Math, his uh, his clothes that he had on, he had on this big jacket, L O M, and and, and Hollow was kind of going at that. So I mean, it's solid, decent first round uh, for Math. Uh, I mean, excuse me for Hollow. Uh, Math comes, and Math comes, and um, he just was talking that 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 street talk. You know, for those who missed that old Math, you know, like that Math Papa versus uh, T Rex. Every time I look at you, it makes me want to put a like foot in you that's the kind of math that this was tonight um math was definitely well prepared um he came he um he talked about um just really uh hollow the the his mustache what tay rock said the luigi mustache he, he i mean he, he touched on so many um angles i'm just going from i'm just thinking off the top because uh, the battle just ended but he touched on so many angles but in that first round um, off the first watch, I definitely gave that first round to Math. Math, um, he was more personal. He just was really talking that talk that um, I, I really felt like the crowd could relate because the crowd was definitely in the building and the crowd was going crazy. And um, yeah, uh, Math Papa round one, round two goes. Hollow had a, a another decent second round. He 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 started off with a uh, came with a rebuttal. Uh, we all know Hollow was known for that. Um, Hollow the Don was just really talking about uh, different situations, disaster. He had a line about disaster, which was fire. Um, so it was, it, it was um, all in all, it was definitely a good, solid second round for uh, for Hollow. But one thing I noticed is that Hollow, his body language has changed a little bit. Hollow seemed a little bit more just just by the by by body like he just seems a little bit more upset. If that makes sense, it looked like he was. He said it, uh, he didn't matter what Math said, but I think he, I think that round one kind of shook him a little bit, in my opinion. Round two comes for Math, uh, and Math he just he just same thing as round one. I mean he he came with a rebuttal, which I I was like wow, um, and and Math was just really coming um, directly at Hollow. He talked about the Coney Island situation, um, split splash. Um, he was touching on that a lot, just calling him Splicity Splash. For those who don't know the situation, I mean, um, you know, Hollow ran in the ran in the ocean and things like that. So he touched on that. Um, he talked about Hollow the Don's sister. Touched on that. Um, very direct, very very direct um, in that. But the crowd, it was like it seemed like the whole Brooklyn was up in there. I mean, the crowd was really rocking with him. Um, but I gave round two off a of first watch um, to math. I'm, uh, to math again. Round three goes to me hollow. It was consistent, but I just felt like he, it just wasn't enough. I felt like he kind of slowed down in round three. Um, and I mean, it was some lines that, that, that really, that you were like, okay, but 
um, I was just like, I don't know, man, because at the beginning of this battle, I felt like Mad Papa had something up his sleeve because for those who are watching the pay-per-view, you, you could hear ARP and them as they as they come on stage, but you could hear like a little rumblings and you could hear Matt Papa telling some a group of people, hey, come to the front, come to the front. So I felt like, what was going on? Like, why, why is he telling people come to the front? You know, and long behold, the reason why he did that because round three, Matt Papa brings up um, some guys that was co-owners of LOM, Loyalty Over Money, and I guess some it was a bad business deal, and he brought those guys up on stage, and it shook the room. And Matt Poffer delivered some paperwork. I don't want to give it all out the bag because you got to watch it, but it was it was really strategic on Matt. And that that round, I mean, it sold that. I mean, that was just a really good round the way Matt did it, and those guys coming on stage it looked like Holler was kind of surprised by it. Um, but yeah, all in all, I got Matt winning um, two one, possibly three zero to be honest, off of first watch. Um, and I felt like I was really surprised because I felt, and this I felt like Hollow was going to win. Uh, you know, I felt like because I felt like Hollow has a little bit more in his repertoire than Matt. But no, I was definitely wrong. This when Matt said in the press conference um, that he was definitely prepared. The last time he was this prepared was against him and Mark One. He wasn't lying. Like Matt was definitely prepared. I got to take my hat off and salute him. Really good battle. Uh, even even in that round, Matt took a shot at at, uh, at murder Mook um, because um, he said, I, "I think I'm going to get booked for murder for this one." And I really think don't be surprised. I think we're going to see Math and Mook this year. I think it's going to be on RBE. You heard it first. I really think we're going to see Math and Mook because Mook is definitely battling again, and I think it's against Math. But yeah, for those who watch it, let me know what you think. Like I said, I, I got Math doing it. I got to take my hat out to Math. Hollow, I'm just a little surprised because, you know, people have been saying Hollow's been on the losing streak. John, John, the Don, a lot of people say he lost. Some people say he had lost to Arsenal in the small room. So what what are we doing with Hollow now, you know, and what does it do for math? So so let me know what you guys think. Thank you for tuning in. Let's talk about it. Salute. It's hard as hell for a young Florida boy. Where we play football and sell dope, man. Gold rims and 